Hello! This is the One Episode Rule podcast about first impressions. I'm Magpie. And somebody recently told us that we should talk about anime more. Uh, I refuse. Oh. Anime? <laughs> Black will recoiled at the suggestion <laughs> that we talk hey, about is, anime more. Th- this is an anime podcast about anime. I didn't anime. sign up for this. Um, Magpie, do you want to explain our premise? Uh, oh yeah, our premise is uh, that uh, every week we watch one episode of an anime. Yes, an anime black hole. And, uh, anime. and uh, then we review it. Uh, and that's all it gets before it gets reviewed, because first impressions are the most important. It oh, yes. sure are. <laughs> nice. So... We- we have thus far never been wrong in our first impressions either. I don't know about that. Higurashi continues to be as batshit insane in the rest of its episodes as it was in the first one. Higurashi just keeps getting more convoluted. Keeps giving and giving and giving. It really does. And we're like, please stop giving. You're giving please. too much now. <laughs> I'm going to pop like a tick. <sighs> well, anyway, would the rest of you like to introduce yourselves and talk about whatever? Um, Maybe anime. <laughs> I'm Blackle. And I am going on strike uh, from this podcast because of the sheer mention of, of <laughs> requiring me to talk about anime. Um, I don't watch anime. I don't perceive anime. The, the the shows that we watch come to me a lot as live action videos. I don't know what you all are seeing. There's some so, kind of fil- perceptive filter between me and the screen. You were talking about how you watched Mob Psycho the other day. <laughs> yeah, but it, to me, it's a live action. Honestly. How's uh, how's Mob Psycho season two? Season two. It it's good. I just think that Mob's real life face is very hard to look at. I can't imagine that. And I resent your attempt to make me imagine that. So, Joey, (laughs) introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Joey. Um, Hi, Joey. This week, I spent... uh, I watched uh, Cagliostro two times in a row. (laughs) I was like, damn, that was a good movie. And then I watched it again, immediately, in the same sitting and i liked like, it i would like some more you just I, yes more please had to get your loop on yeah my loop on um <laughs> like this is literally a ghibli ass movie um it's so it's very charming and good uh i think, I think it's like it literally is a miyazaki film right um, yeah yeah i made that before uh, ghibli was a thing yeah um and it's good. It's very. You don't need to like know anything about Lupin to watch it. I think, but it would be helped if you do. But it's good. Everyone, watch it, please. Nice, uh, the, nice. The, thanks. The other thing that I want to mention about it is, it's like this very cute, family-friendly movie, and then the the villain at death at the end is extremely like g- gruesome. And oh, is it hard to watch? Is it like uh, is it like Ashitaka decapitating people in Princess Mononoke? No, no, it's um. Do you want me to spoil this or? No, no. <laughs> okay, it's it's juicy. That's all I'll say. Uh, juicy. And that's that's my bit. <laughs> Go ahead, Emma. Great. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm your Weibo correspondent, your Jelly Wrangler, and um, <laughs> this week I just want to say that uh i I recently had a visit from uh from my dear old dad and he sat in my podcast chair and i don't know what in the goddamn he did to it but it has become so much louder than it ever was before so uh so during the recording of this episode i'm actually not uh in the chair i'm suspended from the ceiling by a series of interlocking metal hoops um like david blaine yeah that you purchased specifically for the podcast and no other reason. Yes, absolutely. This is my <laughs> this is my podcast punishment harness. <laughs> I don't hear a lot about David Blaine these days. 
if the show gets too bad, it'll it'll start spinning me around really fast. <laughs> like you're attached to a, a ceiling fan? <laughs> yes, it's something like that. The well, we'll Emma see. flew around the room we'll before see. you came. All right. Um, I've got one news item today. Just one. Um, because I only started looking three minutes before we began. Um, yep. Solid. Preparation, folks. It's important. Uh, uh, if you, I, I didn't find a lot about one story. Uh, if you're interested, listeners, you m- may look it up yourself. Is apparently there is some sort of ongoing scandal in the anime industry about uh, aggregator sites uh, threatening and mudslinging people in the anime industry. <laughs> oh. Oh. To the point Why? where police, uh, I don't know, to the point where police reports are being filed by directors and voice actors and shit. It's great. What the fuck? That's great news. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good time. But uh, we're not going to cover that. What we're going to cover cover is how uh, Miojo uh, Charumero Ramen has released three, is going to release three instant ramen cups themed after Ava. Oh my God. Come on. In another inexplicable Evangelion time. It's oh. been 30 Christian years. I knew it was going to be Ava. I it's knew only it. been like 25. <laughs> Same diff. Uh, Close anyway, enough. Anyway, they're going to be keeping us fed while we wait for uh, the next Ava film with uh, limited edition ramen flavors. Uh, the uh, tonkatsu with soy sauce and fried garlic has uh, has the three kids on them. Uh, Ray. Is there an orange tang flavor? Uh, there's not, unfortunately. Tonkatsu is pretty orange, though. <laughs> hmm. Is there? Can I get? Do they serve a, a sort of, you know, home home meal microwavable ramen flavor that tastes like kaworu? <laughs> Could yes. The you just eat it. it. I feel like kaworu would taste like like marshmallows. <laughs> this is <laughs> awful. It's a, it Jesus. says on the package like this ramen will blow your head off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Damn. So uh, let's see. We got we got three other flavors. Course by, and we're going to play a little game here. Uh, who do you think corresponds with the flavors salt, soy, soy sauce, and miso? Um, let's take Misato. a try. <laughs> Unit zero just, one. It is the three kids. <laughs> oh, it's oh, Masato. Is it stuff. all the three kids? Yeah. All okay, so, are so our, our choices are the three kids, and we have to choose, and which, to choose which which flavor they go with. I think this. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Shinji for this one. Shinji Can we get what? the flavors again? <laughs> Can we get gonna, the three flavors again? This, this is so a, let's cut this bit, and we'll start it over. This is over. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great idea for a bit. The rules just were not clear, and I thought those that was all one flavor. Yeah, I thought they were just, like, all different. I don't know. I didn't I, understand. I gotta think of it. I'm not even sure what the difference between salt and soy sauce is. Wait. Hang on. No, hang on. Sorry. There's it, Salt by itself is the flavor? Yeah. It's just salt flavor? <laughs> it's just salt flavored. Salt it's just, it's just and plain also, noodles and bonus, salt. For bonus points, it's Asuka on the on the. I was lit, I was just She's salty. <laughs> oh. She is salty. Although, um, considering the hospital scene, I would have put that with Shinji personally. Oh no! <laughs> oh my Emma, god! Emma, I'm gonna murder you. Uh, I can't be murdered. Ray, but thank you. Ray is soy sauce, and uh, Miso is uh, Shinji and Kaoru. <laughs> <gasps> Both of them together. Yeah, on the one. Wow! Oh my God. Uh, it also apparently has a uh, a nice uh, a nice comic on the back of the the container that features uh, Charumara mascots, old man Charumara, and the black cat reenacting the battle with Zeriel. Oh my God! What? Why? What am I? This has been this has been your nearly weekly update on ab- absurd Evangelion tie-in baffling. <laughs> I'm baffling. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. I just am wondering how the 250 like Evangelion merchandise collectors are gonna preserve this ramen. 
I mean, I mean, they they just deep fry the noodles. So as long as they don't like get the packaging wet, it should be fine. Mm. <laughs> if you um, if you basically like constructed a big box out of those microwave ramen noodles, you'd be able to survive a nuke like Indiana Jones. Good to know. I mean, they they wouldn't dare eat them. That would ruin their street value. <laughs> When you say street value, I'm imagining somebody trading like one of these uh, ramen packets for like for uh, crack, like yeah. cigarettes. Yeah. What I'm imagining is someone's got that one of the big trench coats, and they're like, "Hey, kid, you you want some of the? <laughs> do you want to buy? An, got, do you like, want to buy an Ava tie-in? Kid, <laughs> I got Kaoru flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Kaoshin for you, buddy. Uh, everybody can uh, go ahead and Kaoshin. It's different. Oh, oh no, Joey! You had a show for us to watch. What I is have this? a show for us to watch. Um, this is something that uh, I was planning to watch anyways, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, we ha- I could just inflict this on everybody here." So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, the show in question is called Mr. Tonagawa Middle Management Blues. All right. Ever heard of it in my life? I will. I would like to reveal to the podcast audience that prior to this uh, recording, Joey said, "When I say the name of the anime, don't look it up," which really inspired a lot of confidence in me. Yeah, fearful. We're not going to look it up, <laughs> even if we're going to call it out here. <laughs> I'm extremely glad that no one like recognized it a little bit. So. Um, yeah, we're going to go watch this thing. Yeah, let's, let's get to do it. This. You know, I want to be mad, but indirectly, I sort of did this. <laughs> You did this. You all thought you were safe, didn't you? Nice, you all thought you yourself. were safe. Like I, I took like like I took Akagi off of the list whenever you said you were you'd gone and watched Akagi, but I didn't <laughs> know there was more. <laughs> oh, there's more. There's always more, isn't there? There's always more. I feel I like Emma's getting rid of all areas of Japanese life. I feel like Emma's getting ready to just scream into the microphone. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you people. Can I can I can I have a small moment of self-defense here for no, just a second? No, you can't because you tricked me, Joey. You tricked me. I thought I was safe. I thought I was never going to have to see a fucking kaiji face again. And then and then this week you're like, "Oh, I've got something to watch." And I'm like, "Great. My best friend Joey, who I love and talk to all the time, is going to make me get something fun for me to watch for my anime comedy podcast." And then you made me watch a fucking kaiji face again. Y'all, I didn't. I, y'all, I didn't know that there was. Okay, I I knew this was a spinoff. I knew this was a spinoff, but I wasn't prepared for the like fucking minute recap of all of Kaiji in the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. Yeah, that was the problem because I popped in and I was just like, "Oh, that's fucking Kaiji," and then it just kept going, and I was just like, "Is it just gonna tell me all of Kaiji?" Literally, that was everything that happened in the Kaiji anime, and I'm crying. I didn't know, but <laughs> really when hot, that... spicy Kaiji spoilers when... being served up to us when... on this podcast. When... It just kept going. I literally, I started crying, and I had to leave it off of the shower because I didn't know. All right, all right, all right. Settle down. Oh, we have, we do God. have a job. We do have a job to do okay. here. Okay. I literally, I, I'm sorry for yelling. I'm sorry. Oh. For, I'm sorry for screaming. I did use all of the lungs, all of the air in my lungs, and now like. My sternum is kind of sore, and my my arm is still kind of tangly. Um, I, do we have know, a blurb, Joey? Oh when God. you were when you were giving I your defense there, have, uh, 
Joey, when you were getting your defense there, yes. really had the huge like kindergartner who was caught like chewing on the, the toys energy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost my mind a little bit because I didn't know that it was going to do that. But you knew you knew mm -hmm. who Tonagawa was. I you did knew this was a kite bit. You oh. knew exactly where you were taking us, I you little did. Okay, I'm gonna read us a, a blurb if anyone's ready. <clears throat> in Kaiji Ultimate Survivor, he tormented the downtrodden and enticed them into playing games where their lives were wagered against incredible cash prizes. But even a cold-blooded monster can spend every moment of the day trampling others. And in the real world, death games require planning, funding, oversight, and execution. This is the story of the lone man who struggles between his employer, the president, and his employees, the men in black. Tonagawa Yukio, middle manager. Do anybody remember the Men in Black rap? <laughs> <laughs> no. Men in Black. I don't remember any, almost any of it, other than it exists. <laughs> I remember it exists. Yes. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try and give this a fair shake <clears throat> because that's what we do here. I mm -hmm. um, I literally. I just don't, I don't actually know how useful I'm going to be in this episode because I, I like blacked out. Mm -hmm. I, I have, um, I have, I have 10 lines of notes and then I don't remember what happened after that. <laughs> so, uh, understandable. I'm going to come out with this is that the first episode of this is better than the first episode of Kaiji. The first episode yes. of this was all of Kaiji. <laughs> that, that as well. <laughs> That's true. Folks folks listening at home, so the, the shortest description of this show is that it is about the sidekick of the main bad guy from a different show that's bad that I hate. And... Um, and this is just about what the sidekick of the bad guy does to to facilitate everything that happens in the actual main anime. And in order to let you know about that, it starts with a like six minute sequence <laughs> that is just summarizing the entire other anime. It does, in fact, tell you the entire plot of Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. <laughs> <clears throat> the whole plot. So don't watch it if you don't want spoilers. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Don't watch the, it if you do want spoilers. Yeah, that's the use case we're advising for. <laughs> you gotta watch <laughs> this without watching Kaiji. <laughs> you gotta watch all of Kaiji first. Literally so, all I, of it. I have now. So, um... I'm going to come out and say this, that the premise behind this is actually interesting. I would have preferred the premise to have been used on an entirely new storyline and, and universe, but it is an interesting idea that the death games that Japan loves so much require somebody to fucking run them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, that's never explored, and it's very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. If only. <laughs> if only it wasn't Kaiji. If only. Um, I, I the, thought I would say. There's so much. <laughs> um. Does anyone get a, get into like specifics or? I've got some specifics. Uh, the beginning of the episode uh, is the black suit. Uh, aside from the the uh, rundown of Kaiji, is the black suits uh, basically running down different debtors to uh, threaten them. <laughs> Yeah. Um, can I call to attention the uh, um, mm -hmm. the the picture I posted to general chat? We all saw it. We're <laughs> <laughs> choosing uh, to ignore it. Gotta stay on topic it? and not interrupt. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> it's those guys running down, uh, running down everybody, and uh, God, because Black will interrupt me. I actually forgot what the fuck I was going to say. <laughs> the black suits. Oh, yeah. They were running out all the debtors, and uh, I was particularly amused that, uh, like, the third or fourth guy they were running down was in a uh, hostess club and was dressed like Kiryu from uh, Yakuza. Was he? I didn't even notice <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, he had the same. <laughs> he was wearing Kiryu suit. 
Maybe <laughs> that was just hand some money. And they were just yelling about uh, Dom Perignon. <laughs> Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon. I don't even like Dom Perignon. I don't know why people think it's rich people champagne, but I uh, I don't know him. <laughs> But uh, he was dressed like Kiryu. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I also really appreciated the JoJo noises that played through the entirety of the sequence where he was talking <laughs> to the president of the country. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, the company. <laughs> the the uh, dramatic Zawas. Yeah. I was yes. just like, oh. <gasps> you know. Which, just, uh, yeah. In, in the original Japanese, it is, they read those um they read those sound effects as zawa um mm. but in english it was just like 10 like different go. people going Ooh. Yeah. Like ghost noises. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been better served to just do a jojo go, 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 go. Yeah. um on the topic of uh, the dub um it was I'm extremely really, extra, and I'm here for that. I'm Can we really talk about glad the that I picked the dub, because he just screamed the whole time, and it was very funny. It was so good. What are you trying to get at, Michael? The narrator is my favorite part of the of this. It's just the, yeah, the extreme extraness of him. Every single <laughs> time he yelled the guy's name, I was, like, losing my mind. So was I. I. <laughs> Played completely straight. I, uh, um, the other I, only thing was, as I called the the central joke of this first episode, immediately before it was said, and it knocked me out and across the room. <laughs> <laughs> because I, they they were all arrayed in the boardroom, and he was about to sit down, and I was just like, "Oh yeah, look at all these dudes in their fucking Tay te Industries issue sunglasses," and they just went, "You're all in your thirties, and you all wear the same suit and sunglasses, so I can't tell you apart." <laughs> I yeah. Um, I originally thought that the the narrator was um Christopher Sabat, who is uh very very famous for being extra. Um, but it's some guy I've literally never heard of in my life, and his name is David Wald. Well, good, uh, for so him. good for him. He put, he's putting in the work. David Wald gave his whole life for this show, and I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. He gave the show exactly the tone that it deserves. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. What do we say about this? What is, um, I mean, what is there to say that I didn't already yell in our Taiji episode? You they are all shames of so God. Defeated. Like, I Tonaga am. Tonagawa is a little less pointy than Kaiji, and he seems like a little less of a bitch, let's be honest. <laughs> But there are so many uglies in this show. There are so many just fucking gawks walking around. All of these so dudes do look like roller faced assholes. <laughs> they, they all fucking do look gorillas like they're... ass looking motherfuckers. <laughs> they do look like they were all made out of rocks. <laughs> they I, all I look like that. the end of a key. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't. Oh no! Oh, you got me. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I was looking right at his profile when you said that. <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, that's the part where all the tumblers engage." <laughs> oh, wonder what he unlocks. That's a euphemism if I ever heard one. Or double entendre. The tumblers oh, engage with this show. Oh my god. Um, I, uh, I feel a little bit of grief because, uh, for, for, um, uh, a blissful, like several months after we watched the first Kaiji, I forgot what it looks like for an anime character to have a full mouth of incisors instead of any other kind of teeth. And unfortunately <laughs> this show reminded me what that looks like. Do you remember the whole piano key teeth look? Yes. Yeah, it is ghastly. Teeth. It is like they all only have the two front teeth, but repeating over and over. <laughs> Just repeat. I wanna, That's very funny. I want to gauge y'all's opinions on something. Okay, we've all seen the president of, of Tay now. 
And we've all uh, seen yes. everybody, everybody else. Is he better or worse than everybody else? Because it is, the artist clearly took time to make him hideous and evil and ancient. Like, extremely so in all regards. But does that make him more, like, uh, like appealing as a character design? Because he is very clearly evil and ancient, while the rest of these dudes just sort of look like they were made with hammers. <laughs> Um, I actually didn't know that much of a difference. It just looked like a palette swap to me. Well, he's got that big, um, like, horrible nose. Yeah, he's got the those fucking planters warts in his nose. Um, guys, I don't know if you all else saw this, but, like, five other people in the anime had that exact nose, just minus the warts. The warts yeah, had had, like, a lot. The warts make it. They, they There's make a it. lot of character in those fucking craters. Ancient. Like, like the warts <clears throat> made, made his nose look like a pickle. <laughs> yes. 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 You're right. Textured. A little, Textured. little piece, piece of pickled edamame, right? It look, right? His nose looked like a cross-section of a fermented clove of garlic. I, it was like not... <laughs> I... What is there for me to say? It's bad. It's I, evil. I kind of... I kind of love excited. I kind of love him in the same way that I love like uh, like the emperor from the prequel movies. <clears throat> you know, because he's just, he's so evil and he loves <laughs> he loves just, being evil. Uh, he just, does do that. You could see him just sitting there behind Tonagawa and it'd just be like, "Do it, <laughs> do it, do it now." Well, he was he was just sitting on a table made of his employees. Yeah, Why was he laying on a man bed? Because he was bored. <laughs> he's evil. How else? He was bored, so he turned. Evil? It's he just was like, bored, so he turned his employees into boards for him just to like, lie on. He's just like be a couch, and they're just like yes, boss. Yes, boss. They got. They got us. <laughs> yes, boss. Hey, black suits, it's 3 p.m. Time for you to be a couch. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You could just so see bad. you could just see him sitting in a big chair and he'll turn around and he's just like, I'm afraid the deflector shield will be fully <laughs> oh, I have a time. They get my Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's like. Uh, he's incredible. Yeah. He's He's a good villain. In He's my the opinion. only person I like in this show. <laughs> God. Uh, why is it you read this like Confucius? It's incredible. <laughs> He's got the He's got the full robe with the fucking rope belts and yes. shit. <laughs> oh can. boy. Does anybody, oh, else, does anybody else have anything to say? Can we talk I, um, about the main bit of the episode, which is that um, everybody has weird names and also everyone plays bowling? They have dumb names and they all bowl, bowl together and Tanagawa can't tell them apart. Yeah. I will say, if I if I am being forced at gunpoint to say one thing that I did like <laughs> about this show, it's that I respect its commitment to the bit. Because it did that shit for like ten fucking minutes. <laughs> it sure did. Like half of the episode was just not knowing what these guys' names were, and it like it did that thing where like at at some point it started getting old, and then it started getting funny again because it was like, will you just do something else, please? Let me leave the room. Make up a new name. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll remind you that that joke is directly related to a joke that we made in the Kaiji review that we called it out wasn't? the fact that these dudes were all fucking identical. <laughs> oh, yeah. We sure did say that. You know, that's, I think that's right before you are out of, <laughs> you are out of scissors, motherfucker. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> This so, podcast is one long, dark prophecy. <laughs> it is. It's... <laughs> Every time I uh, every time I run a news bit about an Ava tie-in that doesn't make any sense, they do a new one. <laughs> and then I make a swatch kaiji. And then we, <laughs> Joey finds another sub branch of the kaiji tree to hit us with. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, like why? <laughs> why was there a moment when um, 
the dub voiceover narrator person yelled, A sign from heaven! Sign from heaven! Like, he he developed an accent for that line specifically. Why? <laughs> I don't know. He was just feeling it. He, 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 the spirit took him and he followed it. It's just, <laughs> just being real evangelical. Everybody, everybody in the fucking mixing booth was too afraid to stop him. <sighs> I really do think that they must have fucking led David Wald into the recording booth on a leash. Yes. <laughs> just like unclipped him and slammed the door and locked it. And he like just screamed and foamed and clawed his way around the booth while recording this. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is there is an animal energy to his performance in the show. It's, it's literally so good. It's my favorite. Very good. Oh my god. Um well, the other uh, thing that I have is that um at the end when he's like change your names, and then he starts screaming. They cut his scream like halfway, and it was very funny. <sighs> perfectly cut screens. screams. Yes, perfect, exactly perfectly right cut. Now. Perfectly cut anime screams. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody make it. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. I... Perfectly cut inhuman anime girl screams. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Higurashi. Anyway. <laughs> Correct. So uh, I have to ask. Um, no, fuck you. Complicated. Are you going to watch any more of this? No. Joey. Do you suspect that I am not going to sit down and watch all of this literally right after we're done? I really get the impression that this is probably only like six episodes long. So yes, you will definitely no, complete it. It is indeed. Uh, I will tell you how many episodes it is. It is. Oh yeah, get it for us. <laughs> it is, in fact, twenty-four episodes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> how can that fucking be so? <laughs> Wait, is this just Kaiji B side? <laughs> yeah. What the B-roll, fuck? B roll Kaiji. I'm gonna watch it all because I love it. It's, I need to eat it, the trash to live. This, this re like this watches like, like pop team. Like it watches like an adaptation of a four coma comic or of you know a four panel comic, but it's twenty four episodes of just this. Yeah, that's an. Joey, I worry about you and specifically your intake of anime. Because if you're gonna watch all of this, and then on and off, the the three of us are watching uh, Higurashi, Higurashi and, 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 and then and Ava, Ava, and then you watch <laughs> Lupin all the time as well. I'm very concerned about your media. Uh, <laughs> just be careful I, about getting I'm, out of the decompression chamber, Joey. I don't want you to explode a like a balloon. To me, okay. I'm afraid this might be somehow poisonous. <laughs> it is poisonous, and um, my brain shrinks every single day. Just remember, loop on before Kaiji, never sicker. What? <laughs> you know, like a uh, beer before that's, whatever. That's, this podcast you know, sucks. Think, you didn't. You didn't make the first. You didn't make the first part of the rhyme. <laughs> Like there's no, there's no, there's nothing no matters anymore. Is the main reason why I didn't rhyme it <laughs> uh, because who, because it doesn't matter. Who cares? My head does hurt extremely bad, so you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> you have the bends. That might be because I was laughing hysterically through the entire kaiji recap because I couldn't <laughs> believe it was happening. Oh my god. <laughs> We've had some we've had some psychologically damaging episodes in the past, but none of them have really stolen the sparkle from my eye like this one. Are you sure know. that the, the Seinfeld theme didn't do a little bit of that? That, that one was more funny than anything. Oh yeah, that one worked me up <laughs> into a lather, but this one this one has kind of disconnected me from my air compressor. Right. Um and I'm just like slowly deflating back into a large tarpaulin. Right. So, uh, bouncy castle, Emma AU. So, How about you, uh, Magpie? More? I yes, might so. watch more. I don't... <laughs> oh my God. I am, I am immune. <laughs> but, uh, Magpie, you're too powerful. 
I'm not uh, strong enough. I'll note that we don't have any emails. I was checking while you were doing the whole uh, weird uh, reverse inflation <laughs> fetish thing. Uh, uh, if you want to change that, if you want to send us uh, emails about whatever Emma awakened in you, you can uh, do that at uh, one episode cast at gmail.com. That's um, one, the word, not the number. And if you have any sort of private uh, messages about the uh, deflation fetish commissions that we're opening, you can hit us up on Twitter at one episode cast. That is also one, the word, not the number. You joke, but I'm very poor. <laughs> Listen. Um, I do want to say one more thing before we sign off for the day, which is that um, the fictional uh, thing I was talking about where it's like a, a filter that turns anime into live action movies so that I can consume them. Yeah. Um, I think that if that thing was, I, I obviously that was a bit, um, but uh, no. if that thing was real and we watched this Kaiji show, I would not have returned because it would have been like a mimetic kill agent and it would have ended me. <laughs> They would have all looked like that one uh, Russian MMA guy with the horrible ca cauliflower ear. <laughs> but just like their whole face. Yeah, that yeah. poor God, that poor man. <laughs> I feel so bad for him every time I see him. Um. I really, I really think it's like you know we complained in the Kaiji episode about how like the live action Kaiji movie just has normal looking people in it and they didn't do any fucked up makeup or anything. But I really do feel like if they had tried to render the kaiji characters in in three dimensions, it would have like destabilized the Geller field, and I would have <laughs> I would have been corrupted. Would have passed the Hayflick <laughs> limit and would have killed us. Yes. Oh my god. This anime registers on a Geiger counter, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. I don't even know what kind of joke to end this one on. <laughs> I'm going to be real, y'all. I don't know. I've thrown out like 12. <laughs> I've done my... I've fucking served my nickel. Can we just, like, do some Zawa sounds and then fade out on the Zawas? <laughs> no, no, you know what? I got one. I got one. It's, okay. Joey, what uh -huh. episode does Michael Douglas appear? 